Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here, 9 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update on this Friday, the 19th of April. We're into the second part of the month, and we're going to see exactly what happens if you went to sleep last night, 9 o'clock Eastern Time, and said, oh, the market was just kind of a little bit weak. You woke up this morning, you said, oh, the market is a little bit weak. You would have missed this incredible almost 700-point decline in the Dow, over 70 points in the, uh, the E-mini. Look at this. Look at that huge move down, and look how we've come back from the low of 22.20. That's uh, 10, 20 minutes past 10. The market uh, came back from 49, uh, what is that, 49.63.50. Then it walked the nine-period moving average, and it's still doing quite nicely. It's testing the 200-period moving average. So it's gone from 49.63 to a high of 5,000. And 56.50. That is really quite something. All right, so that's the um, uh, the response that Israel um, had to uh, Iran's uh, attack uh, over the weekend. Another one one night wonder. So what we're looking at here is <clears throat> let's just go through this quickly before we run out run out of time. <clears throat> You've got the Dow futures. Trading down just 17 points after going all the way down to the 200 period moving average at in the 37,500 area, and come came come back nicely. But the weekly chart is saying, uh oh, there's a problem. I'll talk about that when I get back to do Tommy's show. You're looking at the E mini went all the way down. <clears throat> this is the ES, the E mini. As I say, it went down to the 49.63 level. It's now trading almost. It's 80 points high. It's amazing at 5,046. Down just 2.75 at 5,046. The NQ, which is the uh, NASDAQ, uh, plummeted down to the 17,200s. It's back here at 17,516. That's amazing. Is this going to be a kind of the, 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 the a reversal that gives you a, a new buy signal? We don't know yet. Let's just look at the different um, areas. We've got the Russell 2000, which down, went down sharply. Now it's down only 4.40. Gold had a big spike, and then it gave back some. But, you know, it's still holding. Why? Mideast is still an issue. That's all. Make it as simple as possible. Uh, the dollar holding well. Why, well, it's down 21 ticks. But why is it holding? The currency of import. That's the one that people already respect. And let's look at crude oil. Crude oil is down 45 cents, but bonds, that's going to be the issue here. Bonds are up about almost a point.